All right, so let's get into some extraterrestrial intelligence information. I'm Oneser Grove, OSGOE. This is casting 495 celebrities worldwide. As a fucking nerd, IT geek wizard growing up in America, as a boy in America, that is the United States of America, with my geek friends, IT nerd computer whiz friends, we embarked upon many different geek whiz nerd missions to unlock the mysteries of the multiverse. Now, I want to talk about Nikola Tesla because it's a topic that is often discussed openly online on social media, on YouTube, and increasingly so. Shit, man, there's the fucking Tesla car. And the master mind genius behind Tesla, the vehicle, today, is obviously Elon Musk. So you have these brilliant men, Elon Musk of today, Nikola Tesla before him. Nikola Tesla, man, was on fucking point. I'm watching specifically what prompted me to make this video is we, C4CW, casting 495 celebrities worldwide. By the way, thank you for tuning in. If you are true fans, if you are a true fan, is that though I often go off on these different pathways in terms of Culture, counterculture, music, pop, hip-hop, rap, rock, whatever I'm talking about at the time. Clothing, this, fashion, merchandising, yada, yada, yada. Y'all who follow know that I, despite such, actually have an offline persona where I don't even talk like I'm talking right now. Because, man, you know that it's just for effect, right? So anyway, man, back to this voice that I kick when I'm on C4CW. Right, you know the whole like lingua franca, the whole lingo, the whole like street shit, right? <laughs> You're probably like, Grove, come on, man. It's part of the fucking show. You guys have to play along. So that being s- <laughs> so that being said, man. Um, no, but for real, Nikola Tesla. Y'all know that I have a background in aerospace. I've worked at two Air Force bases, military installations, facilities, DOJ. I've been inside an NSA nerve center, uh, man, started off in law enforcement after 9-11 at the local, state level, and then worked my way up to the U.S. intelligence community. And man, the feds absolutely fucking lootly monitor my shit. Now here's why. Because when you've seen the shit that I've seen, when you've been coded in on the levels of the shit that I have engaged and interacted with. No, man, I haven't been to goddamn Area 51 or S4. Okay? But I know enough about it to know about it. Thank you, Bob Lazar! So, yeah. So, we'll get back to Bob Lazar in in a moment. So, in terms of Bob Lazar and one of the most recent interviews that that I've seen is what, what I'm referencing. And I mean Joe Rogan. I'm talking about Joe Rogan. Shout outs to Joe Rogan! Uh... Bob Lazar is an integral part of the secret space program. The secret space program. I stuttered when I said, I was like, the secret space p- program. Um, <clears throat> because I got fucking excited, man. I got, when I, man, when we're in flow, okay, mode. When we're talking about the secret motherfucking space program, I get goddamn fucking excited. As y'all, as y'all know. So, there are a lot of pieces, a lot of moving parts, all right? We have to, you know, identify each and every one. We have to pinpoint information, cross-reference, you know, do the data link analysis, you know, connect the motherfucking dots, yo. So, before now, that is some years ago, before our own government, finally the last government on earth to fucking come forward and admit this shit, even Canada beat us to the punch, um, shout outs to Paul Hellyer, um, for revealing space aliens as a former federal 
you uh Canadian, I almost said US, but I mean Canadian official. Uh yeah, man. So even the fucking Canadians admitted the shit before we did. I so knowing about what's going on in hyperspace, that is outer fucking space and inner motherfucking space, right? Knowing what's going on in this uh, multiverse where in our one universe here that we're aware of, where only 5% of our known universe has been decoded. Now imagine this, man. You have this space, right? It's called a universe. We know that there are parallel universes now. Most humans believe in parallel universes. It's not that they think that they exist. We know that they exist. Within our one universe, within our one universe, if, if you look at that as, you can look at it, visualize that as amorphous space. You can see that as a sphere. You can see it as a cube. You can see it as something, you know, some other geometry. However you want to visualize space. But let's just say it's a black box which is what we use in cybersecurity uh, for analysis. So you just have a black box, right? Like a, and, and say that's one universe, our universe, right? Down in the little tiny corner of one of those like vertices, down down in that little one little tiny corner, that's how much, like I'm, I'm talking like a fucking box that you would put some, like a moving, like you're going to move, okay? From one residence to another and you've got a fucking box, like a box that takes you two arms to lift. And you're like, shit, I got a box full of shit right? Say that's a fucking universe. All right. So it's like one arm length by one arm length by another arm length. Boom. That's your cube. That's how big this shit is. Right. But then down in one of the fucking corners, like inside that box, like the size of like a quarter. Okay. That's how much of the universe we, the known whole cube, we've only decoded like a quarter, like I'm not talking about like one fourth. I'm talking about like a monetary like coin, like a quarter size of that whole fucking box. That's it, man. You know, caramel fucking candy. You know, you know, those caramel candies, you know, fucking caramel, right? Caramel candy. You know, those little square wedges or the bull, the bullion that you use to like make soup, right? Just a little fucking tiny square out of that big ass box is how much we've decoded of the universe. Nothing, man. Just a tick. Just a mere fucking tick of what's out in the universe, right? So then today I was studying up on dark matter and dark energy and how scientists say they don't even fucking really know what dark energy is and what dark matter is. Not really. Not not publicly. And dark energy and dark matter are two separate different fucking things. All right. So we're talking about hyperphysics here, right? Because we're talking about what's beyond normal space. When you're looking at Newtonian physics, when you're looking at flat, and then from the 2D to the 3D to the 4D, Minkowski space, and beyond. You're talking about multi-space. So now you've got multiple boxes that exist. Even Stephen Hawking was saying, had said before he passed, sadly, that there has to have been and there must be time before 13.7 billion years ago. In other words, whatever event took place that created this known cube or this known sphere or this known amorphous space because maybe it's just mist and maybe it's not a square or a cube because it's not a fucking cube, probably. And it's not a sphere, probably. It's probably just some mist. Maybe. Probably. Who fucking knows? So let's just assume for ease of reference that it's a cube. Well, basically what uh, Hawking was saying, Stephen Hawking, was that before this cube of space was created in some type of, say, Big Bang event, like flash, bang, bang, flash, right? Boom. Now all this shit is like whizzing out, like hissing and just like, whew, whew, like a fucking wind, right? 
So you got this vacuum of fucking space and all these elements and particles and all of these different things are being created, right? If you go to NASA's website, NASA, the space organization, uh, if you go to, and before I forget, just to let y'all know, Space Command, uh, Donald Trump's, that is POTUS's, our president's, if you're American, our president's Space Command that he created is official at the end of August. It's coming up, man, in just a fucking few days. Space Command is now a real thing. It is not hypothetical. It is not being debated anymore. The shit is legit, and it has been motherfucking made, and will be official in just a few days from now, if y'all didn't know that. So, back to multi-space. So, if you go to NASA's website, you look up dark matter, dark energy, and you read the article that I did, where one represents 70, what is it, like 78%, hold on, let me um, let me bring this back up here, man, let me go back to NASA's website here that I was on earlier, bear with me one, one, uh, one moment, let me just quickly go back to the NASA shit, oh yeah, by the way, the Loch Ness Monster might be uh, for real, I'm just saying I read that article today. Scientists are saying there might be a Loch Ness Monster after all. Seriously, no bullshit. And I'm not talking about fringe science or some type of weird, wacky tabloid. I'm talking about there may be a Loch Ness Monster after all. Um, Because there's weird shit on this planet, man, that we've never seen before, that we've never found. There's shit under the Earth, um, inside the Earth. You know what I mean? Like, we know more about what's in space than what's in, in the oceans. Um, so, all right. So I'm on this, I'm on this, uh, page here. Let me go ahead and copy the URL so that I can give it to, to y'all. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Let's see. Gosh, darn it. Um, (laughs) sorry, man. It's my little, uh, time saver there. Um, reasons to share. Okay, all right, here we go. So, sorry, man. Um, I'm traveling here. You know, I'm traveling. So, <clears throat> multitasking. So here is. So this is the the URL. If you go to https colon slash slash science dot nasa dot gov. Okay, copy the clipboard, and then let me go ahead and open up uh, one of these. Bear with me, y'all. Bear with me, y'all. Let me see. All right, here we go. Let me just do this, and then do this, and then paste this. Oh, like this. All right, so I got the full URL. Science.nasa.gov forward slash astrophysics forward slash focus dash areas forward slash what dash is dash dark dash energy. Come on, NASA. You can shorten up that motherfucking URL. And we know that. So let's go to this uh, URL. Nonetheless, there's some interesting information here from our uh, militarized space agency uh, that was unfortunately uh, comprised of Nazis after uh, World War II via Operation Paperclip. All right, so here, we're on uh, NASA Science. Uh, Share the science uh, link here. Dark energy, dark matter, black holes, the Big Bang, galaxy stars, exoplanets. So I always operate from a position of knowing that NASA lies as fuck, all right? But some of the shit is probably accurate. Some of the other shit is fucking deception, all right? But in terms of what is being stated here, just kind of generally speaking, it says, quote, what is dark energy? Uh, more is unknown than is known. I'm reading from NASA's, or that is our government's NASA website, right? Because that's our fucking NASA. We're taxpayers. 
NASA works for us, God damn it! So, again, what is dark energy? Quote, more is unknown than is known. We know how much dark energy there is because we know how it affects the universe's expansion. Other than that, it is a complete mystery. But it is an important mystery. Well, no motherfucking shit, NASA. No shit, man. So NASA says it is an important mystery. It's like, duh! Quote, it turns out that roughly 68% of the universe is dark energy. So between dark energy and dark matter, always start with the energy variable first. Just always go to goddamn fucking robo spam motherfuckers. Um, go to E, as in E equals MC squared. I'm just saying Einstein's equation. If you're talking about dark energy, dark matter, the one that comprises most of the known universe is going to be the energy side. Okay. Because it then goes on to say, after, again, it turns out that roughly 68% of the universe is dark energy, dark matter makes up, this is from NASA again, quote, dark matter makes up about 27%. So think about that, man. You have these two, you have these two variables. You have these two, whatever they are. We don't even fucking know. One of the two constitutes 68% of the universe. And then the other is 27%, approximately, right? So these two things that permeate throughout the universe, we don't even know what the fuck they are. We have no idea what this shit is. This fucking mist. Yes, I'm talking about the goddamn fucking movie Mist. And you know what? I haven't seen it, but someone explained it to me, and I read the Wikipedia on the shit. So, we live in a fucking mist that we don't know what it is. And of what we think we know, which is like, say, the Earth, for example, and everything that's in the Earth. And why isn't this person taking a fucking free right turn? Well, okay, uh, excuse me here. We, we, we need to figure out why this person does You can take a fucking right turn, okay? If you're going to drive in America, please learn that you can... God damn it, man. I don't understand. And then, not only that, then she's not going to fucking use her signal once the... So she waits and burns out the light until it turns green. They must be new, okay? They must be fucking new. God, I'd love to go to some other countries, man, and just fucking break laws. You know what I'm saying, man? Just break fucking laws in foreign nations. You know? Really? I'm just saying, man, for real. Like, how the fuck did you get your driver's license? Just asking. I'm just asking. And then when the light turns green, which you did not have to wait for, and make me fucking wait for, and I should have just driven around your stupid ass, but you know what? I'm podcasting, so who gives a shit? But what I do give a fucking shit about is once the light turned fucking green, which again, none of us had to wait for, once you finally take that right turn, then you want to start fucking crossing lanes without using your signal. Get the fuck out of here. So, back to what I was saying. Most of the goddamn universe is a mystery. And science doesn't even know what the fuck this shit is. Now, in terms of what we know to be true or think to be true, like Earth and everything you see, like the trees and the sky and the birds and the plains and the sun and the moon and the stars and whatever the fuck, the oceans, right? The environment, ecosystem, humans with their fucking human footprint. You know, computers with their digital footprint. You know what I'm saying? Whatever data constructs exist within the real world matrix. Okay? What we think we know, what we think we have figured out, that equates to only 5% of everything that is overall. 5% of everything that is actually here. We are only aware of approximately 
percent of it. Now keep in mind, five is an arbitrary number. It's just an we might really fucking only know like less than one percent of the shit that's fucking here. If we even fucking have a handle on what we think we fucking know to be true. So, but you know what? So, so, so to put it in a better perspective, to put it into, to, to a better perspective, let's just assume that we know 5%. Let's just say, okay, we, we know, we, we think we have 5% figured out. Dude, there's still 90 fucking 5% of reality that is on God damn decoded. Though the contrast is striking. If all of what we know, which is a massive amount of information, is only 5%, imagine what else is here that is unseen. Holy fucking shit, man. So, parallel universes, we know they exist. Nikola Tesla... Nikola Tesla uh, was on to some shit, to say the least. So I've been watching this video that I want for y'all to check out on uh, on the tube. And what it's about is Nikola Tesla. Hold on, let me go back here. Let me go back here. One, one minuto. Uh, let me see. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. What the fuck is this goddamn fucking video? You see, man? You see how shit is sometimes, man? So, this video, God damn it! I just had this shit up here, man. This video is about Nikola, I'll summarize it for y'all. This video is about Nikola Tesla and how he became uh, not only convinced, but he came to know and understand that he was communicating with extraterrestrials and he had a uh, he he had figured that is inferred that the uh, communications based on the math the communications the signals that he was receiving were intelligent obviously he's Nikola Tesla he understands math he understands science he understands hyperphysics he understands quantum entanglement he's motherfucking goddamn Nikola Tesla so he does the math. I know, I know, Nikola Tesla didn't really like math in the sense that he didn't like use math like a lot of mathematicians use math. He thought of things conceptually versus like doing math by hand. Okay? I know that shit. Okay? I've seen countless documentaries on the subject of Nikola Tesla. But nonetheless, he did the motherfucking mental goddamn fucking math. So he does the math and he's like, yo, these signals... Most likely, though I don't know, I posit that they are coming from Mars. Because of Mars' proximity to Earth, right? So he assumes that they're coming from, from Mars. And from that point forward, he is constantly thereafter looking to... And I know that's redundant, I'm just saying for emphasis. Um, <clears throat> he he embarks upon this mission just as 495 did from the very beginning as youth to unlock the mysteries of the universe multiverse and he he's looking for ETs man for for intelligent alien life beings because he knows that those signals are from space and he also goes on to posit that theorize hypothesize that the signals that the that those aliens from from whence the the signals came that the aliens have also been transiting as I've often said the earth for millennia for eons and so Nikola Tesla unbeknownst to a lot of folk was absolutely a firm understander. I don't even want to say believer because most human we're we're to the point where like 99% of humans know that aliens are fucking real. 
It's not even a question anymore. When the U.S. government admitted it, people were like, all right, you stupid ass motherfucking assholes. Okay, okay, you you said we were crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now you're going to, now. okay, so now you're admitting the shit, man. Fuck you, motherfuckers. All right, so we knew we were, we, we always knew we were never crazy. Nikola Tesla, he was on to the shit a long time ago. He absolutely knew that aliens exist and uh, existed and that they've been here forever. So that's what we do is we map hyperspace. We connect the dots. We look at the different data points, all the different parts, moving parts, static, moving, dynamic, quantum electrodynamics, and we put it all together. That's right. Super string it together. Data link analysis. Because that is hyperspace surveillance. Now, you still have a very large segment, contingent of the population, that thinks that this type of information is still hypothetical. And that, well, you know, and then you have these fucking stupid YouTubers. Well, because no one's ever as of yet made contact with aliens uh, so we still don't know because aliens are still hypothetical and maybe it's like, man, just let those fucking fools believe that we haven't made contact, that aliens haven't been here forever. I mean, even Nikola Tesla was saying that he assumed that some of the aliens had something to do with our own development. I mean, man, look at the chess player. Look at the master chess player who was taken aboard a ship and uh, the aliens played fucking chess with the man in space. There have been so many, I don't even know if, are they really ab- abductees, man? Or, I mean, if, if, you're, if you're created by an advanced race of beings, right? If you're created by aliens, God, I, listen, I, I, I'm, I've never been a doubter. I know God exists. I know that a, a mind energy God matrix created everything, the entire multiverse. I know that. It's all intelligently designed. I'm saying that advanced beings create other beings, just like we're creating synthetic organisms and transhumans right now and cyborgs and robots and beings that look just like us in our AI. And the more advanced our material sciences become, at some point, we're no longer using metal and machine parts per se. We're using actual human or biological, rather, cells and tissues and and different biological systems, right? So we're creating hybrid humans with perhaps some type of digital electronic, molecular electronic augmentation, smart chips in the brain, uh, you know, advanced, you know, enhanced rather eyesight and, and other senses. And, and so we're tapping into a lot of things for the first time that we know of And I'm assuming that this has been done before on other planets, and this isn't really the first time. And it's probably been done before on this planet as well. It's just that that history has been erased from that of our current history. So so in that entire nexus of information, what we're dealing with is extraterrestrial outer space intelligence information. That's what we've been deconstructing. That's what we've been analyzing. That's what we have been researching. That's what we have been following. So here on C4CW, if you've listened to each and every one of these shows, you know that out here on one hand, there's this masking of information, right? There's this like grand deception because, you know, hip hop, man. Yeah, I've been listening to Nas, man. And, you know, Ice T and, uh, man, Eminem. And you know what I'm saying? And yeah, man. So let me talk about this new fashion merchandising idea concept, you know, that we came up with over here at 495L4. And it's like, man, but behind the scenes, man, you know, that we're really fucking doing that is conducting hyperspace 
Well, you already know, man. Intelligence gathering. Because that's what the fuck we really do.